Hi, I'm David Desser, and today we're going to be going over the three most important things that happened in His Dark Materials, Season 2, Episode 3. Let's go. The first major thing that happens is Lyra loses the alethiometer, the golden compass. Like, how? How could you forget that in the car? Uh, so she's at our Oxford, and she was talking to Dr. Malone, or she's about to, and this guy... This real sleuthy guy <laughs> comes up and starts questioning Dr. Malone about, about Lyra, basically. And uh, Dr. Malone, a very intelligent person, kind of realizes this is a bad dude. And so what she does, she, she sees Lyra walk in and she's kind of like, okay, just go, go. And Lyra does. This guy, uh, as soon as Lyra takes off, this guy chases after her. She outruns the guy, runs all the way across Oxford, runs down the street, loses him. And it, I thought it was so cool how she used uh, Pan to really navigate through the streets and kind of just, Pan had the bird's eye view and was like, oh, left here, right here, oh, get out here. That would be so cool to have in real life instead of Google Maps because, I don't know, it just, it just seems real cool. But anyways, she gets away. And then here slides in Boreal. She, for whatever reason, still doesn't recognize him. They met very briefly that one time last season, so I guess it's forgivable. But she doesn't recognize him still as the bad guy from her own world. And he slides over and she jumps in his car. And then he asks her to put on her seatbelt and she takes off the backpack. Being Lyra, you would think you would always know where the alethiometer is. Like, at all times. Like, that is your most important possession. It is your superpower, basically. She leaves her backpack in the car, so she kind of gets the, you know, she gets the feeling that this Boreal guy is a bad dude. And, you know, her instincts, her gut feeling kicks in, and she's like, I need to get out of here. Which she does, which is awesome. That's great, smart move. But knowing he's a bad dude, how do you not think of the alethiometer? Like, what? how do you forget that? Oh, that drove me crazy. But yeah, so she realizes <laughs> that's gone. And that, that's the first major thing that happens in this episode. Eventually, she links back up with Will. The second major thing is Lee Scoresby's storyline. He finally starts doing something interesting, which is awesome. Love it. Finally getting him involved is great. So the witches point him in the direction of Nova Zembla. I hope, I think that's where he's going. <laughs> so anyways, he's going there looking for a Dr. Grumman. And he's asking around. The locals point him in the direction of an observatory where there's a doctor there who's not Dr. Grumman. And the doctor that's there is a magisterium loyalist you know he's all about the magisterium once lee scoresby starts asking about this dr grumman the other doctor quickly realizes that lee scoresby is his enemy basically he tries to kill lee scoresby but he doesn't and lee scoresby shoots and kills him and he feels real bad about it immediately and i think that's something that is a strength of lynn manuel miranda i think if this was the sam elliott lee scoresby i wouldn't have bought that he felt bad about it i think he would have killed him and just been like <laughs> tipped his cap and just he would have been fine but Lin-Manuel Miranda's Lee Scoresby I feel like ah yeah he would feel bad for sure he's like he's really good seems like a real nice guy but then he's immediately arrested gets thrown in jail and you have Mrs. Coulter who's also trying to track down Lyra and she comes across Lee Scoresby I was pretty excited for this moment not gonna lie and it didn't disappoint they had a nice back and forth and she's trying to torture him I'm like, oh man, what is he going to do? And he he doesn't give Lyra up. Or I mean, not that he knows. He has no idea where Lyra is. Anyways, he doesn't give her up. He's like, you can hurt me. It doesn't matter. I had a childhood far worse than this. So you could so do your worst. And then Mrs. Colt, he saw the look in her eye and was just like, you know what I'm talking about. You know I won't break because it wouldn't break you. And so they have a little connection there. That was a little unexpected. Didn't see that coming. I was like, oh, okay. So that's how he's going to get out of this. They're going to relate. It's going to be like, wait, why'd you say Martha? Martha. No. He's going to be like, wait, your mother's name's Martha too? No, no. That was dumb. Ugh. Anyways, so that back and forth, that was nice. I was on the edge of my seat for that for sure. She ultimately decides to let him go because she's like, you know what? I know 
you're going to look out for her and you're going to try to protect my daughter. So plus I already know where she is because Boreal lets her know and she lets him go. The third major thing that happens in this episode is that Boreal sends Lyra and Will on a mission because they have his business card. They go to his house. He invites them in, reveals who he really is. They're like, ah, ah Pikachu face. Ah, <laughs> and they're shocked even though Lyra's met him in her world. But yeah, I get it, you know, just briefly, it was a while back. But Boreal holds all the cards right now. And by all the cards, I mean the Elite Theometer, the Golden Compass. What he then does is tell them, okay, I'll give it back to you if you go get me this item from Sidigaze. And he can't go there because he's an adult, and adults apparently get their souls ripped out or whatever happens. So they are forced. They have a little bit of a dilemma. That's not really a dilemma. They kind of have to go and do it. They have to go and get the item, which I'm assuming is the subtle knife. They have to get that item, bring it back to him. So it's like, even if they get the alethiometer, which I doubt he'll give it to them anyways, but even if they did, he would have the subtle knife and he's a real bad dude. So this is a problem. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they get out of this or how they deal with this in the next episode. So that's all for now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue on. I will be going over the rest of the season uh, after every episode. And then when the whole season's done, I will do a review on the season as a whole. And if you want to follow along, subscribe. Until next time, later.